everyone, what's going on? Derek here from Hooked on Fishing For Real. Today guys, I'm gonna show you two different ways you can throw a bait cast net uh, to be successful at catching bait. Uh, this mainly is for beginners out there who's just learning uh, and getting into fishing and would like to learn how to throw a bait cast net so they can catch their own live bait. Now, before we get started, we're gonna go over the parts of this net real quick because uh, it's, it's always important to go over the parts of something before you actually build it or start it, right? Okay, so now when you buy these nets, guys, they come with uh, everything intact. You don't have to put nothing together. Uh, this is a six foot net. It came attached with a uh, 30 to 40 foot hand line. You can call it a hand line or drawstring. It's attached to a barrel swivel. And at the other end of that barrel swivel, you have your braille line, which is basically uh, about, uh, looks like it might be 10 strands of uh, 40 pound uh, monofilament line that has a crimp on it at the very end is crimp and it goes through your the top of this uh, mesh line here this ring here would be called your uh, your horn your horn or your yoke okay and then they go and so your braille line here goes all the way through your mesh of your net and it goes all the way down to your lead lines where there's uh, lead weights attached to it okay now that we got the terminology out of the way, let's get started. First method I learned, guys, was the teeth method. Now, this has pros and cons. Uh, the pro about this teeth method is it's easy to throw, easy to learn, okay? The con about it is you have to be careful because you're putting that lead line in your mouth, and if, uh, if you don't place it correctly, you could chip a tooth. So I'm gonna show you guys how to place it in your mouth correctly. So um, this is how you would do that. You would grab it, you grab the lead line here, and you'll see between on the lead line that the lead weights are spaced about probably four to five inches apart. You want to bite in between there like that, okay? Don't bite here because you'll chip a tooth. <laughs> All right. All right, so now that we got that out the way, uh, let's go through the step. Take your hand line, make small coils here. Grab the horn or the yoke, stand your mesh straight up, okay? Place your mesh on, on the left or right side of your body, whichever, whichever is your dominant side, okay? Grab it at the waistline, drop it, okay? Then you're gonna reach down with your left or right hand, grab that lead line, and you're looking for kinks, you're spreading it out, looking for kinks. Okay, I don't see any. And you're gonna place the lead line in your mouth close to your body. You're gonna place that in your mouth. Teeth in between the weights, like that. Take your left hand, slide it all the way down to the very end of the lead line, grab it like that, and there you go. Put a twist in your body like this. And there you go. All right, guys. All right, on to the second method. All right, second method is, uh, the steps are the same with the hand line. You're gonna grab it, you're gonna make your coils. These steps never change. Always, you're gonna always make your coils, okay? You're always gonna make small coils. Don't make your coils too large, because sometimes if they're too big, then when you get ready to set up your net, uh, you'll see that the coils will get caught in the bottom of your uh, lead line and that wouldn't be good okay same scenario grab it by the horn okay and then you're gonna put it on the right side right or left side grab it down by the waist okay except this time what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you're gonna check again check for kinks in your line I, I do have a kink right here Get these kinks on this braille line here okay check for kinks all right now Here's where it's different. I'm gonna drop this and I'm just gonna grab this in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this in where my hand was and I'm just gonna move my, slide my hand up a little bit further up to about maybe, uh, up to about three feet and I'm gonna start pulling some of this in like this. 
you guys can see me. I'm going to pull in about a third of it. There we go like that, okay? Now I'm going to go underneath my elbow and drape it over my elbow like that, okay? There's a squirrel in the tree. He's checking me out. <laughs> now you have your outside of your lead line here, and then you have an inside lead line. You're going to grab this inside lead line, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to grab a third of it. Okay, you're going to grab a third of this. Just like this. And get it. There we go. Grab a third of it like that. Okay. And there's what it looked like. I got a third of it. So I got I got a third in this hand, a third here. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to twist like I'm throwing a frisbee. But with force guys and then watch the spread. Here we go. So there it is guys, two different uh, options you have when it comes to throwing a bait cast net. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. As I said, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop me some questions in the comment section. All I ask is that you keep your comments nice, keep it clean, <laughs> and don't judge me. <laughs> anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Hooked on Fishing for Real, uh, go ahead and hit, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. Alright guys, that's all I have. Until next time, peace.